Welcome. Today we're going to talk about Franz Liszt and Frédéric Chopin, two composers you probably know well because they both wrote such excellent music for piano. Both Franz Liszt and Frédéric Chopin spent most of their lives in Paris. Chopin was born in Poland in 1810, and one year later Liszt was born in Hungary in 1811. They both moved and left their homelands when they were young, and they spent a great deal of time in Paris. They had so much in common, you would think they might be best friends. Well, yes and no. Today, we've asked two young pianists to help us learn more about the personalities of Chopin and Liszt. Monsieur Liszt is so magnetic, charismatic, talented, and handsome. <laughs> have you heard Monsieur Liszt perform before? Yes, I have had the pleasure. I love myself to acquire from him the manner in which he plays my etudes. <gasps> you are Monsieur Frédéric Chopin. Will you be playing here at the Paris Conservatory anytime soon? Here? In this thousand-seat hall? No, no. I am not suited to give concerts. I, who is made timid by the audience. In front of unfamiliar faces, I go mute. No, this hall requires the big sound of the Erard piano. I prefer the more subtle tones of the playo. I usually only perform in the homes of my friends. Oh, I see. I think the concert, oh, I should say recital, is about to begin. <laughs> Liszt always plays the entire concert himself. He never asks anyone else to perform with him. Yes, Liszt invented the piano recital. He's the only one reciting. No one else would dare do that. Tonight he is going to play La Campinella. Ding, ling, ling, ling. The little bell. I have been hearing about it. It was inspired by a violin concerto composed by that astounding violinist Niccolo Paganini. Inspired? Yes. He borrows rather freely from other composers. And then he writes music to astonish us all.
Yes, indeed. How? He has astonished us one and all with his brilliant virtuoso technique. And he makes the piano sound like a whole orchestra. Mm. And no sign of stage fright. And everything from memory. Yes. And now, all pianists have to play everything from memory. So much applause. He loves the audience, and we love him. I wish I could throw off the thoughts which poison my happiness. Liszt plays the piano the way Paganini plays the violin. They both play their own compositions, and they both write music that is too difficult for anyone else to play. Hmm. Several years have passed. Chopin is not well. He's suffering from tuberculosis. Playel, the piano maker, has built a small hall. It holds about 300 people. Chopin performs at Saul Playel once each year. I see my friend Frederick has again chosen to play in this tiny hall. I think only 300 people can be seated here. What he really likes is to play in someone's home. I was lucky to get in. I have been waiting for years to hear Monsieur Chopin perform. If it were up to him, he would still be playing with his back to the audience. Oh. I'm glad I was able to make a change in that tradition. And the playable piano, you can't get the sound out of it like you can with an Erard. Tonight he's going to play a new composition, Polonaise Fantasie. Is that the Polish dance? He likes to feature the music of Poland every chance he gets. Or is it the fantasy, one of his great story pieces in which requires you, listener, to make up the story? Well, let's see how this goes. I'll make up a story and tell it to him after the concert. <laughs>
was beautiful. I've never heard anything like that, have you? No, I haven't. It didn't look well. <sighs> but the music it was sheer poetry. Yes. No one compares to him. He shines lonely, peerless in the firmament of art. I envy his talent as a composer. Who else in the world could write something like that? And combining the polonized rhythm with that beautiful reverie of fantasy? Who else in the world could do that? No one. Chopin is dead. 39 years is all that God gave to Chopin on this earth. Chopin loved Poland. He was 20 when he moved to Paris. He was never able to go back home to Poland. He asked his sister to take his heart back to Poland after he died and bury it there. She did. His doctor removed his heart and they put it in a bottle of cognac and Ludwika took it back home to Poland. How could this man who suffered so much bad health write so much beautiful music in just 39 years? Chopin. He wrote his own funeral march. On his deathbed, Chopin planned his own funeral. While the 4,000 invited guests were being seated in Paris Church of the Madeleine, the organist was playing Chopin's Funeral March, the third movement of a second piano sonata. This was followed by Mozart's Requiem. More than 3,000 uninvited mourners lined the streets while Chopin's body, minus the heart, was taken by horse-drawn carriage to Père Lachaise Cemetery. When he left Poland at age 20, Chopin took with him a container of Polish soil. He kept it. The Polish soil was sprinkled over his coffin. <laughs> 